Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As most of you know, or if you may not know, I moved to New York about a month or so ago. It's been a very unique experience, a learning experience, a growing experience. I have and still am experiencing growing pains, and that's just moving into any new city or any new area in your life. I just wanted to talk to you guys about attitude and how it has played such a huge role in how more cognizant I've been of it since I've moved here. And I've always been aware of my attitude. I, I do have a very, very bad attitude problem. I try to rein it in because it's not pretty. <laughs> it's not something that I like to openly be like, yeah, I have an attitude problem. I know growing up and when I was younger, my attitudes kind of fluctuated. But what I noticed was when I let my emotions get the best of me, whether it was in school, whether it was in my personal life, I've always suffered tremendously. And after I have the temper tantrum and I have the want to pull my hair out moment, that I'm like, I could have saved all of that energy. So with moving to a place like New York, that is known for being brash, that is known for being very expensive, being very abrasive, which already provides stressors on its own. It definitely plays on your day and it plays on your emotions and it plays on your just your way of your quality of life. My very first day living here, I it was a bad day. It was a very, very, very very bad day it just wasn't a fun experience it rained the whole day it was just one of those days where you just you can't either gonna laugh or gonna cry and i didn't do either it wasn't fun to me but i didn't want to cry so but my attitude is what kind of kept me together and i kept thinking you've been through worst movie experiences just saying so just taking the not even the positive aspects, but the learning aspect of a bad situation or a unfortunate event and just kind of remixing it in your mind. So just maintaining a positive attitude, being around positive people helps. Having my family be really supportive and having my friends be really supportive. And meeting so many different people here has definitely helped me navigate a lot better. I'm here for my career. Yes, I'm here to advance financially. But it's still also about living life. And it's also about just having fun and not being so caught up in the little things. And not being so caught up in the BS. Is this going to affect me? five years from now. Hell, it's gonna affect me five minutes from now. No, most of it's not. If it's not about to physically hurt you, if it's not about to emotionally hurt you, you gotta have to just remind yourself of that. And it's so easy to just get caught up in being frustrated and getting caught up in having an attitude. And please believe me, I know. Most of these things that gives us bad attitudes are known factors in life. They're not a make or break situations. It's a little tidbits of wisdom that I've learned so far in being in New York and I know that it's going to be a journey and I'm so happy to be able to share this journey with you guys. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all the kind words. Thank you for all of the prayers. Thank you for just being awesome and supportive. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and share. Until next time, I will see you guys later.